Hello everyone, and welcome to another VHS slash DVD collection. Now today it's another DVD collection. And it's the DVD collection that relates to my career that I want. That's right, today I'll be doing my stand-up comedy DVD. And you may all know by now that I want to be a comedian. Now when I watch those stand-up comedians, they make it look easy, but I know that stand-up comedy is very hard to do, and very hard to get right. So if I want to be good, I need to practice a lot. And you know what they say, practice makes perfect. And I believe in that. Now, I have lots of stand-up comedy DVDs, but the ones I'm going to show you are one-off ones. Say, for example, I have more than one Lee Evans DVD, and more than one Kevin Bridges DVD. So the DVDs you're about to see are DVDs by comedians, which I only have one of. So let's get started with the first one, which is called Tim Vine Live. So I only have one of Tim Vine's DVDs, and it's this one. It says that he's the Tim Vine is the Guinness World Record holder for telling the most jokes in one hour. 377 jokes! Now that's something to be proud of! This DVD was released in 2004, and the description goes like this. The Guinness World Records holder for telling the most jokes in an hour and star of the sketch show, comedian Tim Vine presents his first ever DVD. Tim Vine, live. Tim's unique style and trademark quickfire puns have established him as one of Britain's most talented stand-up comedians. Tim Vine Live is jam-packed with inspired medley of one-liners, a hat full of silly songs, and enough props to fill a charity shop. Tim Vine's continual, continual sorry, barrage of side-splitting jokes will have you begging for mercy. And there are DVD extras on this DVD, including One Vine Month, <laughs> very good, <laughs> Rare Life Footage, Comedian's Commentary, Deep, the Dance Video, and Two Men Left. And the running time of this DVD is 2 hours and 5 minutes. That's including the show itself and the bonus features. Here is the next DVD, which is called... Ed Byrne, Pen pedantic, pedantic, and whimsical. Sorry, I got this one along with the Tim Vine DVD, and the description goes like this: On the 18th, oh sorry, this DVD was released in 2006, and the description goes like this: On the 18th of March 2006. In the grand city of Leeds, and after more than a decade travelling the world of entertaining folk, Irish comedian Ed Byrne finally got off his ass and filmed this DVD. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> anyway, the result of which you are holding in your hands now, hands no doubt trembling with anticipation of the merriment in store, is a distillation of five different sold-out shows at the Edinburgh Festival. You'll find all the finest routines that have earned Ed such diverse nominations as the Perrier Award and as Best Stand-Up at the British Comedy Awards, all brought together in one very special recording that is a that is all killer, not filler. Now, I've seen Ed Byrne on Mock the Week and uh, he's hilarious. <laughs> He really is a great comedian. <laughs> the DVD extras include an extensive chat with Dara O'Brien, one on stand-up comedy and the show at the City Varieties in Leeds, plus an audio commentary from friends and comedians including Andrew Maxwell, Paul Byrne, Brendan Burns and Glenn Wall on how on earth Ed Byrne made it. The running time of this DVD is 1 hour and 58 minutes. Here is the next DVD, which is called Bill Bailey, Tinsel Worm. 
Now, for those who haven't seen this year's Strictly Come Dancing, Bill Bailey is a one of the contestants this year, and his partner is Oti Mabuse. Be sure to watch the final on Saturday. Yes, it's the grand final on Saturday, and I'll be watching. Well, Bill is... I think Bill is very good at dancing, so I'm sorry for, for sorry for the spoilers, but I'm glad he made it through to the final. But I have obviously no idea who's going to win, but uh, I'm hoping it's him. But you know, we don't know who's going to win Strictly this year. But anyway, the description of this DVD. Oh, sorry, this DVD was released in 2008, and the description goes like this. Live at Wembley, from the imagination of Bill Bailey, experience Tinselworm, a visual stunning comedy and music extravaganza. Filmed at Wembley Arena at the end of a sellout tour of the UK, it's everything you expect from Bill and more. He using huge screens, films and animation by award-winning filmmaker Joe Maggie, plus Bill's trademark musical inventiveness and verbal brilliance, this is quite simply the most Spectacular one-man comedy show ever staged in the, in the UK. Yes, Bill Bailey is a musician as well as a comedian. And I believe that comedy and music equals entertainment. And look at these reviews. As wonderful as anything he has ever done from the Times and a comedian like no other by The Observer. It also includes some bonus features like the Beatles tribute band, Hammered by the Gods, Neighbour Scat, Bill for Cheese, Flickhorn Sega, oh and, and that's it. <laughs> Sorry. And the running time of this DVD is 1 hour and 46 minutes. That's including his show and the bonus features. Here is the next DVD, and it's called Billy Conley, Live in London, 2010. I got this one along with the Bill Bailey DVD. And the people say that Bill Bailey, I mean, Billy Conley is one of the, the one of the greatest and best stand-up comedians ever. And I agree, because I think Billy Conley is Hilarious, sir. He's brilliant. He deserves to have that credit. So, as you might have guessed, this DVD is from 2010. And the, the description goes like this. As, as funny, topical, and downright brilliant as ever, Billy Conley, live in London 2010, shows the master at his very best. From raging about political correctness to reporting about the oddities of America, Billy Conley takes the audience on a hilarious series of anecdotes, digressions, and yarns. The King of Comedy is back with his unmissable show filmed live in London. And I, and I like the look of those reviews. From The Guardian, Classic Conley, a master... Recon... Recontinue... Sorry, I can't... There are some words I can't pronounce. Still in the front ranks of comedy. Quite right too. This one from The Telegraph. Fantastic! More than any other comic, the Big Yin has caught the mood of the times. And this one from the times. Relish being in the hands of a master. This one doesn't have any bonus features. But the running time is 1 hour and 22 minutes. Here's the next one. And it is... Rod Gilbert. The c and the cat that looked like Nicholas Lindhurst. I got this one along with uh, Bill Bailey and Billy Conley. This DVD is also from 2010, and the description goes like this. 
Following his best-selling debut DVD in 2009 and sensational performances on Live at the Apollo, Michael McIntyre's Comedy Roadshow, and his brand new show, Ask Rod Gilbert, multi-award winning comedian Rod Gilbert returns to the stage. In this brand new show, Rod is back with his unique style of observational comedy, ribbing into life's minor irritations, infuriated by accusations that he, overre that he overreacts, Rod sets out on an emotional and hilarious roller coaster of a journey to discover the truth. Is he, as he believes, the only sane person in a mad world, or has he, as everyone else believes, got massive anger management problems? Mm. And there's a DVD extra, which is Back in Lambable. Again. That's L L A N B O B L. And the running time of this DVD is 1 hour and 52 minutes. That's including his show and the bonus feature. And here is the next DVD. And it's called Dara O'Brien. This is the show. I think Dara is best known for hosting Mock the Week. And that's true, he, he is the host of Mock the Week, and I'm not sure if that's what he's best known for, but that's what I know him best for. Like, this DVD is also from 2010, and the description goes like this. Dara O'Brien, This Is The Show, was recorded in front of a sellout crowd on the final date of his record-breaking nine nights at the world-famous Hammersmith Apollo. Dara is on top form as he effort effortlessly mixes off the cuff audience into reaction with razor sharp material and a star studded finale that almost puts Hollywood to shame. <laughs> the DVD extras on this one, which are Andy, Ed and Dara's Envision commentary and drinking game, that's Andy Parsons, Ed Byrne and Dara O'Brien. Live in Dublin 2010, the Apollo Organist entertains, and the show as it was meant to be seen. Mm. And the, the, the running time of this DVD is 3 hours and 9 minutes, that's including his show. And the bonus feature. And there's a leaflet inside for Darrell's book, which is called Tickling the English. Here's the next DVD, and uh, this one is called Comedy Superstars 2011. Now this DVD features clips from from live co comedy shows. And this D this DVD was released in 2011. And the uh, the people who are on this DVD are Jason Manford, Tim Minchin, Greg Davis, Dylan Moran, Russell Kane, Ross Noble, Chris Addison. Reginald D. Hunter, Jet Haro, Lee Nelson, and Mrs. Brown, or Mrs. Brown's boys. Oh, it do doesn't say how long it is. Oh, but according to the description, it's this is over an hour, so that's sort of how long it is. Anyway, let's move on to the next DVD. And this one stars one of my favourite comedians of all time. Greg Davis, live, the back of my mum's head. <laughs> now, Greg Davis, 
best known for being in sitcoms like The Inbetweeners, Cuckoo, and Man Down. And being the host of Taskmaster, which I adore. So I'm very lucky to have this DVD. This DVD is from 2013, and the description goes like this. Greg Davis, star of Channel 4's Man Down, The Inbetweeners, and BBC 3's Cuckoo, that's literally what I just said, also happens to be one of the best stands up in the UK. The back of my mum's head is his riotlessly funny 2012-2013 live show, so successful it sold out dates across the UK again and again. This smash hit show was recorded live at the Salford Lowry. Experienced a critically acclaimed comedian at his best, live on stage. Stung by his mother's suggestion that he is not normal, Greg puts everyone under the microphone in a petty quest to discover if anyone actually is. The analysis is far from scientific and the conclusions, at best, spurious. Spuracious, sorry. To be clear, as an educational tool, this show is worthless. It is funny though, <laughs> and there's only um one review, a joyous celebration of our shared idiocy and a snoot cock that's self-importance, and that's from The Guardian. And the special features include audio commentary from Greg Davis and Ed Gamble on a barge with Greg and Marsha, Marsha Shandor interviews Greg, and behind and the behind the scenes look at the back of my mum's head. And the running time of this DVD is 1 hour and 55 minutes. That's include his show and the bonus features. Got one more DVD. And it's called Chris Ramsey Live All Growed Up. And the uh, Chris Ramsey also appeared on Strictly one year. I think it was live. I think it was last year. But I know that Chris Ramsey was also on Strictly Come Dancing. This DVD is from uh, 2015, and the description goes like this: Critically acclaimed North East funny man, celebrity juice regular, and star of BBC Two's Hebburn brings his sellout new stand-up show to DVD for the first time. Filmed to a packed home crowd in the Newcastle Time Theatre and Opera House, expect an electrifying, hilarious performance, tons of mischievous humour, and effortlessly cap captivating storytelling as Chris explores growing up, getting older, taking responsibility, and all the other terrifying realisations that come with being dragged and kicking and screaming into modern adulthood. An a frowling debut DVD. And look at the, and the reviews are unforced charisma and a warm observational observational style that proves ir irresistible to audiences. That's from the Guardian, and a mainstream hit, a cult favorite, or almost anything in between. And that's from the Sunday Times. And the bonus features, what well, bonus feature includes full. Affirmation, stand-up show, and all grown up fan stories. Hmm. And this DVD runs for 2 hours and 13 minutes. That's including his show and the bonus feature. And that's all for my stand-up comedy DVD collection. But before I go, I'll tell you a joke which I've made up. I'm proud. I'm proud of it, but I hope you'll like it too. It goes like this: Which country do the Teletubbies like visiting best? Italy, because that's where the River Po is. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm proud of that one, and I hope you liked it too. Right. Thank you for watching the video. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheerio!